Hi, I wanted to make this post and this video because I get a lot of people trying to do headstand or wanting to do headstand when perhaps they're not quite ready for it. This isn't about telling you how to do headstand this video, but it is about suggesting some ways to tell whether or not you're ready for headstand and to do some good preparation. The thing about headstand is, you know, you really don't want to risk putting your body weight on your neck if you're not ready for it. And you want to feel confident in other postures and feel at ease in other postures before you even try to come into the headstand. So I'm showing you here one of the things that I would suggest you start with, which is kneeling plank and plank, moving the sitting bones down and forward, the ribs up feeling the firmness in the belly from there that same feeling sitting bones going down and forward the chest floating up to the ceiling into downward dog another pose you can see is all about the set the same position of the spine here i'm creeping my way forward into Bakasana here, which is the same thing. Sitting bones moving down and forward, ribs moving towards the sky. I rest my knees on my arms and I balance. And this is really giving me a lot of you know, strength and stability around the shoulder joint area, which is what you want for your headstand. And from there, I'm going to come back now and do well, first of all, I reset my pelvis there, sitting bones moving down and forward, ribs to the ceiling. I'm coming into a horn stand. My head is not on the floor here. And I really suggest that you be able to do this posture in freedom, which means you could talk and be happy and breathe, have a conversation with me before you try headstand. And I take one leg off the floor here. My spine didn't change. My head is not on the floor. It's, it's hovering off the floor. There's no weight at all in my head. It's all going down through my arms. And when I take a leg up, my spine doesn't change. So I don't collapse in my spine. It doesn't start to arch or extend. And if you can do that comfortably, after some time, you'll be able to come up into the full horn stand. You can see it's taking me a few goes here. But I'm coming up in a relaxed way. I'm not stressed. My head is down. Uh, it's not on the floor, but it's not looking forward, which is a non-traditional way to come in. But my neck is in freedom. But I must emphasize the head is not on the floor when I came into that position. It's off the floor. There's absolutely no weight through my head. And I'd recommend that you be able to feel confident and safe doing that pose before you try the headstand. I am showing a headstand here, but only to show the similarities between all the previous poses that I've just been doing. The sitting bones move down and forward. This is almost like Bakasana legs here. But I'm relaxed and I can breathe and I move slowly. The thing is, you don't want to feel that this is a hard pose. You want to feel that this is really easy and relaxed and it's not stressing you at all. So all of those other things are much harder than trying to do the headstand. But if you can do them relaxed way, then you'll feel confident in headstand and you'll know you have the strength to do so. I'm coming into headstand two different ways there. This way is another way to come into headstand. My legs like octopus tentacles coming up. And I'm free and relaxed and easy. I wobble around because I'm not stiff. I don't stiffen myself to be there. And I come down. And after I finish doing a headstand, I still feel good. I'm not stressed. But here you can see I'm doing a about to just do a neck releasing sequence. Throat forward, chin up, and then chin to the middle of the throat. And I do this in kneeling plank, in downward dog, and in a standing forward bend, as you can see, just to release the neck in case any tension came into it while I was in the posture. But 
as you can still see, the spine is the same here, sitting bones moving down and forward, ribs floating up to the sky. And all of these poses have that in common, that same feeling of the sitting bones moving down and forward, ribs moving up to the sky. So I really recommend that you don't leap into headstand. You shouldn't need to kick up to get into a headstand. You um, want to feel free and relaxed and easy when you come into headstand. So really spend time practicing kneeling plank first, the full plank. Practice Bakasana so that you can develop strength and stability around the shoulders. And practice the dolphin or the forearm dog stand to develop more strength and mobility around the shoulders. Practice the full horn stand or Pinchamayarasana with the head off the floor so you know the neck is free. And if you can do all of those things with freedom and talking and being happy, then perhaps you're ready for headstand and find a teacher who can help you rather than learning off a video like this. Happy and safe practicing. Namaste.